everything you know about Star Wars is wrong. Today, we're going to ask the question, uh, is, is the dark side evil? Is the dark side actually bad? Um, and what, what does that mean for the rest of Star Wars and how the force and balance work? Pep, what, what are you thinking? So immediately the, the short answer is no. Uh, the way the force works, the way the force works naturally is a cycle between good or not good, a cycle between the light and the dark light represents life um growth and progress and the dark represents death decay and um the cycle entropy. into rebirth <laughs> entropy uh and so whenever we think about the We've light been side playing a lot of destiny too <laughs> whenever we think about the light side and the dark side just in nature itself um it's all a cycle of life death and rebirth and there's nothing wrong with the dark side that is why even though the force permeates as the living force and, and as the cosmic force throughout all of the galaxy, there are still nexi of dark side, of the dark side, planets of the dark side, planets of the light side. And the force makes no distinction between the two because it is just part of its cycle. And then yeah. we bring in the Jedi and the Sith. Well, I also, before we do that, I also just want to point out a great example of this is if you watch the Mortis arc on the Clone Wars, what you'll see is a planet that in and of itself is balanced. You'll see the landscape starts out green like it's springtime, goes into its own summer cycle, into its own fall, winter, and everything is barren. And then it goes back into light, right? It goes back into spring, back into it's, it's, it's a the natural, day night cycle. Yeah. Um, same thing where you have the daughter and the son. Both of them exist naturally. Now, there gets there can be a problem <laughs> when it comes to using the dark side, but its existence in and of itself is not bad or negative. And I think we hold these concepts of Jedi, good, light as one, and Sith, dark, bad as another. And all of these things are independent that can be related but they are not intrinsically related yeah and so to address um we're filming this in front of a live studio audience i'm just kidding uh live chat uh andre says didn't george say the dark side was all about selfishness and evil and whenever we refer to anything that george lucas says he's referring to its use you know, yes. when whenever he is asked about this in interviews and discusses the light and the dark side, it's usually um, within the framework of the Jedi and the Sith. He talks about the Sith being uh, addicts and it's a drug, the dark side. And the more you take it, the more you need for it to replenish and it becomes selfish and it's it's very short lived. And so you just keep going and going and going. And that is filled with selfish action. And that's yeah. why and that leads to George Lucas's other quote, which is balance is the light. What he is saying is that you can use or, or ally yourself with the light side and serve the light and not be imbalanced. Yeah. So think about it like uh, like a forest. All right. If this is the energy field of life. You can have a forest that has its its day night cycle it has its yearly cycles it even has cycles larger than that of you know trees grow too tall and then the small ones can't get any light and then those tall trees end up falling and then there's a fire and then after that we get the shrubbery that grows back into those trees um that's a cycle that's natural and in and of itself now you can have people who live on the land now those people can work can live in harmony with the land, right? That would be like serving the light. Um, you, Their presence isn't a danger to the forest or to its creatures or to its cycle. But when you go to the dark side, that's being selfish, right? That would be, you start cutting down all the trees, you start hoarding things. It's beyond what you need, but you got more, now you want more. And now you're afraid other people are gonna get it. So you need to make walls to keep other people away from it and then weapons and then soldiers and all this stuff and that now you're running a logging company and you threaten to destroy the forest itself 
right? It's that access to the dark side that becomes corrosive and it becomes the negative and it is selfishness, but serving the light in and of itself doesn't do any of that. Yeah. And to build off of uh, what Chaco just said, um, a famous uh, metaphor that both Chaco and I adhere to and use all the time is that think of the force as a forest and a river. And in and of itself, life will decay and it will be reborn and it will go through its cycles. And then you have the Jedi and the Sith. The Jedi are the ones who build a water water wheel, a water mill to use the river's current to aid them in their everyday life. The Sith are uh -huh. going to build a dam to change the current of the river affecting the ecosystem everything downwind from that waterfall yeah um in the chat uh can you guys hear me you guys should be able to hear me oh the music is too loud gotcha oh suddenly there's a song that's like <laughs> all right well and so this brings us to it has uh, like a vaudeville style like hits on the keys you know uh, this brings us to the the bottom line of this kind of topic is that the, the the Jedi in and of themselves do not bring imbalance to the force. Um, so that's when people say, oh, you know, Anakin brought balance because he eliminated the Jedi. That is untrue. The Sith are the ones that bring imbalance to the force because they're the ones using the side of the force that cannot be used. The dark side cannot be controlled. Yeah. And um, and so, how I feel now. This is my own head canon, my own my own theory, but it does work extremely well with everything I've learned in canon. Is that um, you know, Anakin obviously is the chosen one, and being the chosen one meant that that ecosystem was a, going to hit a turning point. It was going to hit a point of no return. Mm -hmm. that at this level of corruption, at this level of destruction, it would not be able to replenish itself. And and basically Anakin's actions, if we go back to that original force, you know, theme or, or you know, a force and a river, this would be like Anakin cleared all of those people out, all the people who were manipulating it for its its bad end, cleared all of them out. Doesn't fix everything instantly, but now nature can kind of come back and reclaim itself. Doesn't mean that other people in the future aren't going to threaten it as well. Yeah. But we, we prevented hitting that um, point of no return. From the dam breaking wide open and just flooding the entire downstream ecosystem entirely. <laughs> That's what we avoided. Sorry, now you got me thinking of Hurricane Katrina, and then I started thinking about Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> and um, my favorite clip of all time. But we won't talk about that right now. <laughs> but there you go. That's the uh, that's the gist of it. The dark side is not evil in and of itself, but the ones that use it, that subjugate it, and change the current of the force, that's evil. 